Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing an angel from Neon Genesis Evangelion. That is correct. But what is an angel and what is Neon Genesis Evangelion? I'm going to go ahead and explain what Neon Genesis Evangelion is first off, because without explaining what that is, I can't explain what an angel is. So what is Neon Genesis Evangelion? Well, Neon Genesis Evangelion is a psychological mecha anime from the mid-1990s. And in the show, the mechas have to fight monsters that are called angels. And a lot of times, these angels have very interesting, unique designs, which I am personally very interested in from an artistic perspective. And there's actually one specific angel that I really, really, really like the design of. I do want to acknowledge I am going to be drawing an angel that is actually from Neon Genesis Evangelion today in my own style. So it might not look exactly the same, but it's going to look maybe somewhat similar. So there will be some spoilers, so click off if you don't want a little bit of the show to be spoiled. But, but, I really, really, really like the art style of the angels from Neon Genesis Evangelion, and I really, really, really like the design of the specific angel I'm going to be trying to draw just a little bit in today's video. And so as such, well, that's why I'm making today's video, and that's what Neon Genesis Evangelion is, and that's what the angels are as well, and that's what an angel from Neon Genesis Evangelion is. With all that out of the way, though, with all that context and all that explanation out of the way, let's go ahead and now get my Soho Urban Artist Sketchbook all opened up to the nearest open page if I possibly can. And now that I am on the nearest open page, let's go ahead and grab my Pilot G2 Limited Metal Pen with a Pilot G2 0.7 millimeter insert inside of it all opened up and whatnot kind of thing. And now let's go ahead and actually flip my sketchbook just sideways, just like that, as this is a little bit of a longer angel than not. And let's go ahead and just bring my phone down just a little bit as well, just like that. And today I'm going to be freehanding this. I'm not going to be trying too hard to make it look exactly right. I'm just going to be freehanding it just a little bit more so than not. And let's just go ahead and give it a go. So I think I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to kind of go like that and then bring it back around and then kind of bring it up and then kind of just like that. It's not quite perfect. Do I want to stick with this? I'll have to find out in just a moment. Let's go ahead and kind of add some more little bits onto the angel. Now, of course, this is not going to look exactly like the angel I'm thinking of from Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's not in the first couple episodes. I think it's in the teens. It's in like the 14th or 15th episode or something like that kind of thing. I can't remember exactly when this angel comes on screen, but it's like orange. It's got like an eye in the center right here, and it's kind of like a goopy, almost looks like Play-Doh uh, sort of design kind of thing, and I really like how it looks. Uh, it's got like an eye in the center there, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of an eye right there. Just like that. And as I said, I am going to be kind of putting my own uh, kind of take on this uh, design. So I am just going to be doing my own kind of thing just a little bit. Let's go and do another eye right there. I don't know if it had eyes on either sort of hand, I guess is really the right way of putting it. But I'm going to be adding them nonetheless. And just like that. And as a whole, I'm really feeling like this is lacking a lot of design. So let's go ahead and just start adding some sort of little bits and whatnot to this and just see if I can make this look a little bit more interesting than not. If not, I might just try again. I'm not like the most happy with this by any means anyway. Mm. And then I definitely messed that up just a little bit because this side is very different from that side. I'm not really super happy with this in all honesty. I kind of want to give it another shot. Maybe I should have opened up a... <laughs> Maybe I should have opened up... Oh, I know what I can do to make this look more interesting though. I just figured it out. Oh, what I got to do is I got to use some highlighters. I think I might do that. I think I might use... I didn't even think about that before this video, but maybe I'll use highlighters to make this look a little bit more interesting than not. That could be a good idea. 
yeah, maybe I'll do that. Well, I'm thinking that might be the plan. I might use highlighters to make this drawing look just a little bit more interesting than not. Let's go ahead and try again, though. So I think I'm going to start this time kind of right over here, and then I'm just going to kind of go like that. Just like that. Still not quite perfect, but I think it'll do better than not. Let's go ahead and now add a little bit of an eye right there. Just like that. And I'm thinking I'm going to do... Ooh, I actually just had a I actually really just had a really good idea. I might change up this design just a little bit. This is not bad per se, but I actually I actually had an idea. I kind of want to make these two areas right here into like hands. Kind of want to do that. So I might actually I might actually do that real quick. So let's go ahead and try this again. There we go, just like that. I actually kind of like this a little bit more so than not. Just going to give it a little bit of a pupil right there as well. And just get some like little designs and whatnot, kind of just like that. Just like that, and then now, I'm trying to figure out what else I want to do. It doesn't feel done, and I'm kind of thinking it might be time for me to use my highlighters. I'm kind of thinking it might, but I want to add something else. Now, this angel that this drawing is being inspired by, the angel that this drawing is inspired by, um, does not have legs. It's a space-faring angel. It doesn't need legs. It floats. And I don't really feel like this angel would really look good with legs either. But I do feel like it could just use something else. And I'm kind of thinking it could use like some arms or something. That looks a little bit better. There's just a little bit more stuff going on now. Let's go ahead and now actually start adding some color and whatnot. And I think I kind of want the body to be orange as guys. That's what the body color is in Neon Genesis Evangelion. I kind of want the eye to be yellow. I think I'm going to do the body first. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a Sharpie uh, smear guard highlighter. Let's go ahead and... I'm not trying to be super exact by any means or anything, just trying to get it kind of looking good and whatnot. Go around the edges. Doesn't need to be exact. Not trying to make it exactly uh, perfect by any means, just trying to get it where it looks good enough. A little bit of a sketchy design, I don't mind that one bit.
And there we go. And with the color all done, let's go ahead and now do, well, with the color of the actual character itself all done, let's go ahead and do the eye now as well. Just like that. And I'm just gonna go and clean those both up just real quick. Just like that. And I will admit this is looking a little bit more like a, a children's drawing than not like not like my art doesn't normally look like that anyway. But this is looking a little bit more like a piece of children's art than not, frankly put. I don't think it's a bad thing, though. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I'm just trying to think of, like, other ways I can add some more detail, trying to think of other details to add. And I'm thinking one thing I definitely want to do is I want to do another line on all of the lines just to make everything look a little bit thicker, a little bit more distinct and whatnot. That's definitely one other thing I want to do. Another thing I kind of want to do is I want to... Kind of do like some lines coming down here kind of thing, I'm thinking. Just kind of like that. Just like that, I'm kind of thinking. And... Just like that. Just kind of add some other little details and whatnot. Just like that. And I'm thinking that's pretty much all of the details that I want to add. Let's go ahead and now start going over the entire drawing again, adding just some extra little uh, thick lines, just going over all the lines again and adding a little bit of thickness to all of them, make them all look a little bit more distinct, which is important, especially with the uh, background color of this drawing, because I want the outline to be the most distinct part of the drawing, not the color, I definitely have to say.
And there we go. I think that's the drawing pretty much all done. This is definitely quite different, yet, the same, yet at the same time, somewhat similar to drawings I normally do. Definitely a little bit more different than not, though. I don't tend to do a lot of drawings with color, for one. And I also don't tend to do a lot of drawings without, like, legs and stuff like that kind of thing. All of my characters I do, they tend to all have legs. I like uh, characters with legs, frankly put. This character, definitely a little bit different as a whole, I definitely have to say. Let me know in the comments down below, though, what you guys think of this drawing. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not? Do you guys think it's different than normal? What's y'all's thoughts on this drawing? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, as well, please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my main channel all in the description down below go check it all out and of course as said let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing do you guys like do you guys not as said let me know in the comments down below but uh yeah thank you so much for watching y'all till the next one stay safe and peace and have a great one yes sir yes sir you know what i'm saying i'm saying